And you might be thinking about like, how is it even possible to relocate from out of state? How do people do it? Like they did. Yes. And you guys sold a house? Sold a house. No, let's back up. Hi, it's Natasha Bazil with SoulByNat.com, associate broker with Virtual Properties Realty. If this kitchen looks at all familiar, it was because you saw it in a previous video. Um, hopefully it's up by now. And if so, I'll put it right here. If not, subscribe so you don't miss that video. But on that day, it was actually the inspection. I actually had two inspections to go to and it was actually for buyers that were buying from out of state and had not seen the homes in person. I had not met them in person yet. And, and yeah, so make sure you check out that video. But these buyers, I'm actually waiting on them to get here. I'm actually gonna be meeting them in person for the first time. I actually feel like I know them. Thank God for Zoom. Like Zoom is like the best ever. S sidebar, like if you haven't seen um, Solos, it's like an Amazon uh, series, mini series. But there is one with um, Helen Marin, I think, I think that's how you say her name. And in that, it's like in the future and like TikTok is a thing of the past, cancer is a thing of the past, but Zoom is still current. I thought that was really cool. So Zoom is the best because, you know, I had my Zoom meeting with them and I just feel like I know them. It's just a really personal connection, their journey. They were affected by COVID. Their family was affected by COVID. Their, the, the dynamic of their family changed. Um, understanding the features in the house that they were looking for was important. Um, it was it's just the way things worked out. I, I just, we just couldn't ask for it to work out better. Guys, it just worked out so well. The biggest thing is that they had such a trying time in this market and if you haven't seen me talk about that check out this video um if there's others i'll put them in the description box but yeah like they were putting in strong offers but because of this market they had such a trying time but thankfully they listened to my guidance and they were able to adjust and finally got under contract so also another component they had a home to sell in florida thankfully uh, the buyers of that home allowed them to rent back that home. So that worked out because we ended up needing more time because it took longer than we expected for them to find a home here because the market just got so crazy and it took longer for us to get an offer accepted. They lost out on several offers. Uh, so yeah, if you have not seen the videos that I have done on that, I will include them here and here. They will be in the description box, but thankfully they listened to my guidance. I just, they, they are actually outside. So the point of this video is going to be relocating to Georgia and how people do that when they don't live in the state. So I'm going to greet them, let them see their house, meet them for the first time. But yes, so stay tuned. That's what today's video is going to be about. A few moments later. I am here with the Like it feels like we know each other, but this is actually the first time we met in person, and this is the first time that they're seeing their house. Yes. Could not be happier. Could not Very be happier. Happy. We were in happy. tears as we pulled into the community. Yeah, she just saw her farmhouse sink. Yes. <laughs> and, she, and she loves it. Like I am on cloud nine. I cannot. We like we've just been talking for like it had to be thirty minutes at least. Yeah. But I just want you guys to hear from them, you know, cause a lot of people relocate and you might be thinking about like, how is it even possible to relocate from out of state? How do people do it? Like they did. Yes. And you guys sold a house? Sold a house. No, let's back up. You said you had started, wanted to move beginning of the year, COVID, 2020? Right, yeah. right, yeah. And you were affected by yes. COVID. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You lost two family. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So and my sister, yeah. And I'm so like that. Yeah. I okay. So you you put it on hold. Yes. Okay. Put it on hold, and then what made you pick it back up again? We it, just yeah we yeah um, towards the end of the year um, we just decided that it it was just time for us to move. Uh, he it, works from home. I, I work from home. I homeschool. 
um, my youngest daughter. So there really wasn't anything keeping us there. So um, we we decided yeah. to, to we're, give it another We're not getting any younger. So we figured it's, it's either now or never. Okay. All right. So did you decide to list your house first? Yes. We, we decided to list our house first. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, um, doing research in the areas that we wanted to to move into. And we found you on YouTube. We found you too. Yes, we found that yeah, on YouTube. Videos, yeah. And okay, so you reached out to me. We had our Zoom yes. consultation. Which was so helpful, so yes. informative. Yes. We, yeah, especially because we did everything remotely. We, everything. we had not come to the state um, at all during the process. So Nat was was uh, instrumental in getting everything um, set up for us and that yeah Th that requires a lot of trust yes yeah. so i appreciate you guys and yeah it took longer than we thought yes because yeah. the market crazy. got crazy yeah. and yeah. we experienced that yeah we we experienced that yeah that was time <laughs> but yes. i appreciate them because we experienced that as we were going through but you guys navigated it and are willing to adjust yes. with the offers Absolutely. and even just the houses that you were looking at. Yeah. I know some areas you were like, well, let's try this one or, you know, so yeah. you guys were flexible with that and with the offers that you were putting in, you even switched pool and switch lenders to be yes. more competitive. Yes. Yep. yes. So learn from them yeah. because they did it right. And then how it all came and together happened. and how it all worked out. Yeah. yeah. It all just fell into place, really. Yeah, and you guys never gave up. No. Yeah. Well, she wasn't gonna let me <laughs> give up. <laughs> I was on a mission. Yeah. So when it all fell into place, and how? Yeah, I cannot wait for closing. I, I just feel like everybody's gonna be in tears because the agent, when she said that the sellers that they reviewed the offers, they read your letter, and they. They prayed about it and they cried about it. Like it just yeah. fell into place. But I remember at one point you were like, "Is the seller letter even working?" That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I said, that, yeah. "Are people even reading these letters?" I, I don't know in this market if it, and yeah. you you said, "You know what? We're gonna put it in there." Yeah, let's you just never know. You never, you never know. Yeah, yeah. Like this was just divine intervention. Yes, like when absolutely. it's meant, it's gonna work out how things are supposed right. to work out. And yeah. this was it. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so I appreciate you guys. So much, like, yeah. You have no idea how much we appreciate you and your guidance. Here. Right? Yep. Oh my gosh, so you guys basically got in at 3 o'clock this morning. 3 o'clock this morning. After yes. several days of going to bed at 3 o'clock yeah. in the morning, oh packing God. and uh, loading, yeah. Oh yeah, my gosh. Nice. Okay, so yeah, so you guys drove in, what, two, two trucks? How did you make it happen? I, I, I drove in a smaller truck. Um, she followed me in our car. Mm -hmm. um, but we hired movers okay. to, for, for to um, move stuff, our yeah. bigger furniture. Okay. Um, and they, sh well, they should be coming tomorrow. Okay. Supposedly. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll see, see how we'll that goes. Okay. Um, so you, yeah. have, you have your youngest daughter. Yes. 13. She's yes. about to be 13. Okay. And I thought it was the same age. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. And then you have your brother. Yes. yes. Okay. And you said you have your pets. Yes. We have two dogs, two dogs. and a guinea pig. Okay. So, half yeah. pets will travel. <laughs> Do you see the dynamics of how they are making, like, you guys, like, if you guys are a testimony to, to making this work, like, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it we, wasn't, we made it work. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You just have to, you really have to stick with it and, and know what you want and, and uh, get guidance. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just want, there's like nothing else to say so i appreciate you guys so much thank you guys for watching if you have any questions leave them down below please like this video not even for me like this video for them please go ahead and leave a comment down below for the Brunars, okay and give them a congratulations please thank you guys again for watching have a positive peaceful and productive day bye, bye.